So some of you guys have requested for Spring Trap, and this is another collaboration with Jackie from Nerdy Crafter. I am so happy for this to happen again. She made a necklace of Spring Trap's head, while I made a full body of the animatronic. So you guys have two options on making Spring Trap, which is awesome. Click on the image on the right side to see Jackie's creation. The link is also in the description box. You will need thin wire, a brush, black, red, and blue acrylic paints, cutting plier, yellow, brown, white, and black clay, flat blade, and exacto knife, needle, dotting, and ball tools. First, cut two six inches long wires and pin one in red and one in blue. Then put them aside to dry. Mix yellow and a small portion of brown clay together to get this golden brown color for spring trap. Just take a small portion of that clay and start making the head. Start adding eyeballs and iris to the eye sockets. Use a tool to make some textures. Use an image of spring trap for reference if you need to. Roll out a really thin sheet of the clay and cut out irregular shapes to place each piece around the lips.
Make sure to blend the seams. Remember the red and blue wire that was painted at the beginning? Cut small pieces of each and insert them onto the ears and some on the side of the head. Fill in those torn up areas with black clay.
Go ahead and make some more textures on the whole figurine to make it look torn up. After that, you can bake spring trap in the oven. The instructions are usually on the clay package. Here is the baked spring trap. Now just squeeze some black paint and add some water to make it runny. Apply the paint to the torn areas like so. Let the pin dry and you are pretty much done with it unless you want to add a base to spring trap in order for it to stand. Then use either a painted basswood or a chipboard and glue the feet on like what I have here. Don't forget to check out Jackie or Nerdy Crafters version of spring trap right on the right side. And make sure to subscribe to her channel while you are there because she makes awesome geeky and nerdy creations on her channel. Hope this is helpful and not too hard to follow. Make sure to check out these tutorials on other Five Nights at Freddy's and animatronics. You can just click on them for the link to the tutorial. But if you are on your cell phone or other devices, the links are down below. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Etsy. Subscribe for more videos because I do make Palmer clay tutorials every week. I will see you in the next video and thank you for watching.